Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cliff with Paint Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're working in Dunedin, Florida. We're gonna be doing a paving ceiling job for a customer that's not here. Uh, they live out of state, but uh, they watch my videos and uh, you know, gave me a call because I'm about 45 minutes out from uh, Dunedin. And uh, this is my boy Chris at Clean Streak. This is his neck of the woods, so I'm probably gonna get with him for lunch while this paper is dry. Maybe go help him out on the job. Uh, let's show you guys what we got going on. So this is the cage here. We're gonna be doing the cage. Cages oxidized. Look like that's some like he was painted too. It was painted and um the paint is starting to wear off all the way around. A lot of cobwebs. Look at that. But yeah, all that most likely it's not gonna come off because paint is not algae. Uh cages oxidized, like I said, you can see the oxidation on the top beams. Starting to come. Pretty sure if I do a little test, it probably come out of my hand, which you can see it right here. Let me try it on my thumb right here. So yeah, we got some oxidation for sure. So um, we're gonna soft wash this anyway to not disturb it. But everything has to be cleaned off. She does have some algae building up all throughout. You know, the cage. It's been sitting for a while. Crazy that uh, the pool looks good, right? <laughs> Even though it's vacant, I seen pools worse and people live there. <laughs> well, yeah, we're gonna clean these pavers, we're gonna also sand and seal them. We're using the silicast paver sealer. Uh, these pavers here are loose, the customer knows that. See how loose they are. I don't do paver restoration, man, they're shifting a lot too. Look at that. So, uh, I don't do that. It's a whole nother ball game. So what I told the customer is that I'll leave her some extra sealer for uh, when I get done. If she has, you know, the restoration done or whatever, she can seal them afterwards again. So I'll leave her a little bottle of sealer. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start on the cage first. Get this thing cleaned up and then we're gonna do the deck next. Alright guys, if you haven't yet, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, drop a like, and uh, leave a comment if you got any questions. So I'm gonna grab my hose and start on doing the cage now. Now right, let's go. And before we start, I would say you guys do a walk around to see how everything looks. You see some peeling on this coping. Just want to get that on camera. I see some more over here too. See some right over there. Some of that peeling in there. Oh, look at that right here. Just to want to be blamed for that. cage in the deck gonna give it a little bit of time to uh to dwell especially the cage because it was kind of green was well, coming out pretty good so far except for the oxidation marks which i showed you guys in the beginning you can see the darker area and then it's like white 
That means it's, that's the oxidation right there. That's the thing we can do about that. It's just an old cage. But as far as the algae that was on the beams, they're starting to go away. Starting to clean up nice. See these areas right here. We got some thicker algae. May have to hit it with some stronger stuff to get it off. But this looks like some smeared stuff. Look at this. I think I don't even think that's algae. I think that's in the paint, like like a swipe. Like they were trying to paint this thing was probably was bad before in the paint. But it wore off of it. Look at that. I already showed you guys over here already. It needs to be repainted. But yeah, we're gonna clean it up. Looking, it's looking much brighter already. Give it some time to dwell. Come back and give it a rinse. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the deck first. Rinse the deck. I mean, um, surface clean the deck first, and then uh, I'll go rinse the cage after. So like, when I rinse, I rinse everything all at one time. All right, guys. So what I noticed is that this coping was painted also. That's what. That, that's why that's peeling like that over there. That's paint on that coping. So. Therefore, we can't, we can't, we're just gonna soft wash the coping. We got the SH on it now. We're just gonna clean it up with the gun. So we're not putting a lot of pressure on there because the paint will come up. So therefore, we're just gonna clean around the cope, um, where the coping starts around the pool. Uh, guys, we got the cage cleaned up. Looking much better. Pavers cleaned up nice. We're gonna give it some time to dry. A lot of these pavers, man, they're look look how loose they are. Look. We're gonna try our best to um fill it up with sand. But like I said, that's like a restoration job, which I don't do as far as like resettling pavers and all that. So therefore we're gonna um, do the normal thing we do. Over here is all uneven, this area right here. It's all jagged, <laughs> slopes all over the place. All right guys, so we're gonna let this dry up for a few hours. And then we're gonna come back and give it a rinse. I mean, all right, guys, gonna let this dry up for a few hours. Gonna come back and do our sanding process and um, apply the sealer. See you guys soon. Hey, what's going on, guys? We're back at the job right now. Um, had a good lunch with my boy Chris. 
literally like two minutes away from here off of this road <laughs> um he's actually gonna come over here and um join me on this job to finish up i'm gonna go ahead and sand them um the pavers down and get them ready to go let me show you guys what it looked like now all right see we're drying up really good Had a few spots so i just went ahead and on treat them with a little bit of sh straight sh like on the edges and stuff like that but um she's ready to go ready to be sanded a lot of big gaps i brought two bags of silica sand got two bags of those so that's 50 pounds each bag might not even need all of it I think 50 would get um 50 would get it done but i got a one just for, uh, another one just for backup all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and start sending now guys everything has been blown off see uh sanded we're gonna be using the new tour today brought to you by 4k soft wash 12 volt uh sprayer if you need one of those contact 4k soft wash on instagram i'll link his um instagram on uh the description and also down below so you can see um where you can get it from Spraying real well, you can get it with a cone uh, tip or you can get it with a fan tip. Uh, so I like my boy Kirsten, he'll hook you up with one of these and get you sprayed up, um, ready to spray. You see Chris is using it, very precise around the edge of the coping. Like I said, we're not sealing the coping, the coping is painted. You guys saw earlier when I showed you where the paint is coming off. Looks like she's spraying pretty well. Chris is doing a, a flood court right now, flooding the pavers. And then we're gonna do a second coat afterwards. She flowing really good. Nice. Nice, it's our first time using it. So you guys seeing it for the first time in action. I've never used it before. Uh, it's 12 volt pump. It takes a M12 Milwaukee battery. Nice and smooth too, look at it.
Look, I think it's coming at the sealer. out of one of the fittings or something. Well, it could be. Oh, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Yep. Yep. I wondered what was happening. You want to um, stop it? I mean, we can dump it back in here in a minute. Well, I'm going to release the pressure out the line. Okay. You got you got tools in the van, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a screwdriver, too. You want to go get one? Yeah. All right. All right, you guys, as you can see, everything is coming out nice. I love the new sprayer, much more efficient. Uh, sprays, your flood coat is much better. And um, you can see over there, it's drying already in the corner where we started. And then you can tell these right here are coming out pretty well. I love it, man, a nice fan on it. It, it comes with a cone. Like I said, you can get it in the fan also. This is the cone pattern. Uh, it seems like if you loosen it, it, it widens the fan a little bit. So it's like an adjustable. But um, yeah, man, she's, she's working really good. Tech tip Tuesday. This is how you tighten a worm gear clamp. Not, not, not with a Cut. butter knife. Cut. Not with a butter knife like me. <laughs> Hold on a minute, we need a Phillips head. Hold <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never get to where we're going, Chris. <laughs> hey, I should go get my butter knife. <laughs> Good. So now we got the first coat down. We're gonna let that sit and dry up. Uh, typically with good sun, I say about 30 minutes. Uh, and then we can come back and uh, do the second coat. We'll start back where we started over there. Come back this way. So for the meantime, this is gonna sit and dry guys. All uh, right guys, you can see the difference. We're gonna do our second coat now. We had to go through and get a lot, uh, some of the excess off. Remember the gaps are big, real big on uh, this pool deck so we had a lot of sand we took some out especially around this area here that's where most of it was but well, now we're gonna do our second coat we're gonna start from this corner working our way out this door here
All right, guys, this is the sprayer. This is the sprayer here. We get the hose that comes with it. We get the one GPM pump. It does not come with the battery. This is an M12 battery. Right here, M12 Milwaukee battery. It does come with the connector so you can put the battery into. You got your on and off switch. And underneath you got the your filter where you put the filter in. And this is your this is your pickup line. This is your outline. This is the gun here, and then uh, the cone tip that you can uh, adjust. So I'm gonna keep it. I think it works well. I do have the 6510 tips I can put on there, but so far this is um, a game changer. I love it. I love how it works, man. It made real quick work of that uh, pool deck. It was about 850 square feet. Uh, the first coat we put down was less than 10 minutes, about 10 minutes. So. I love it. I'm going to continue working it, working with it, man. So 4K soft wash is who has them and who builds these. So get at them. Instagram, they will send you one, you know, if you need it. Okay, guys, we're all done with the job here. Everything came out great. Uh, shout out to my boy Chris from Clean Street. Came by to give me a hand. You guys can see a big contrast from this morning. bucket sprayer <laughs> game changer man the hose real flexible didn't get in my way didn't kink um spray a nice 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 pattern like i say if you need one of those um message uh 4k soft wash it'll get you situated get it to you real quick man i got mine within a couple of days i mean look at this pool deck guys Wish the customer were here to see the uh, the difference. Over here is drying still because, of course, we covered over here, so the sun hasn't gotten to this part. But beautiful job, man! Beautiful job. We use Deco product silicast, one part sealer, water based sealer, and um, we did a flood coat followed by a second coat, top coat. To get everything looking good like this here pool cage was clean earlier you guys know it's oxidized uh, somebody tried to paint it before didn't work out for them but hey we did what we came to do guys all right y'all i appreciate y'all support make sure you like comment and subscribe man and um shout out to 4k again man 4k soft wash so i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace